hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is fola and i am a nigerian youtuber based in vancouver canada if this is your first time on my channel welcome 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 i'm so glad to have you here please do not leave without subscribing to my channel and also checking out my previous videos to know what my channel is about if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again before i say anything let me first celebrate hitting 900 subscribers on youtube like guys <laughs> i am so 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 excited when i saw the number i was so happy like thank you god and thank you to everyone who has been subscribing and sharing my stuff and engaging me on this youtube you guys don't know how hard it is to grow a channel and i'm just like i'm just super grateful that we finally hit 900 and we only have 100 more people to go to get to 1000 subscribers so thank you to everyone who has been subscribing if you are yet to subscribe please 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 subscribe to my channel lo anyway guys without wasting too much time let's get into today's video so guys is it a good idea to relocate with your spouse from nigeria to another country this is one argument that a lot of people are always having and we have so many people that are against it but for me i'm actually like on the opposite side um, before I say why I'm on the opposite side, let me first explain that relocation is expensive. I've said this several times on my channel and what it will cost to um, relocate one person is not the same with what it will cost to relocate two or more than two people. So relocation is very expensive and I believe before any individual or couple specifically or family decide to relocate, they need to have sat down together to discuss and plan the entire relocation process and understand how it will be beneficial to them and how it will work positively for them because i feel like a lot of families and couples do not do this you know they just take themselves and their family and relocate to another country and once they get there they start finding it hard to you know navigate the whole settlement and how life should be so i just wanted to put that one out there first for a lot of families families are different um couples are different from each other situations are different and you have to pick your own situation analyze it and understand which one works best for you using like different factors there are some couples that relocating together might not work for them because maybe they have kids and you know there's just a lot involved or maybe the man has a good job in nigeria like there's just a lot of scenarios that one can paint out so i feel like that's the first point that any couple or family should start from this relocation like what's how is it going to work for us how best can we do it what is the plan do you go first do we go together do we all go at once like so that's the first thing i feel people need to understand now why do i think it's a good idea for couples to relocate together you know from nigeria to a new country there are several reasons i can point out but because i don't want this video to be too long i'm just going to be mentioning like two or three now the first one i'm going to talk about is loneliness we can see how everybody everywhere that is canada alone is crying they are complaining they are lonely guys it's not actually a lie life in canada is very very lonely because you are in a new country you don't know anybody like you have literally have no one you have no family member it's just you yourself and you so imagine coming here alone when you have somebody that you could have come with <laughs> to reduce the rate of loneliness guys i don't know that's the first reason though it curbs loneliness for you like that's my own first reason i think it's very important secondly marriage for me or in my idea in my own opinion rather marriage is supposed to be like you both start a family and start a home together so i don't understand the idea of going to another country i mean husband is living in another country wife is living in another country i'm not talking about temporary cases now i'm talking about permanent cases because there are some people that permanently have this marriage arrangement the husband is in one country the wife is in another country and from time to time they just you know come and see each other so i don't see that as a good um 
good way to marriage and that's just my own opinion i feel like marriage should be the husband and the wife you know together working together creating a home together and just doing life together and when there's like so much distance in between both um people it is way way harder to do that marriage together that's my own opinion guys another reason i feel like it's a good idea to relocate with your spouse is because i believe it makes it easy for you to settle in this new um home faster like it makes it way 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 faster for you guys and then return on investment is faster as well you know like i said earlier relocating is very expensive and the more you are the more expensive it is so imagine investing like millions of naira in relocating somewhere when you are two people there working and trying to get your money back it's like fast because it's not just one person hustling and trying to pull money together and trying to still take care of the family and all of that you have two people that are doing this so this is another reason why i believe it's a very good idea to relocate with your spouse you know to a new country instead of going alone now guys there are a lot more um reasons why i think it is a good idea to relocate with your spouse but like i said i don't want this video to be long so i'm just going to stop there now i'm going to go into talking about the reality of marriage here in canada like what people need to know what people need to expect what people need to plan um with when they are relocating to canada with their spouse so guys we already know that the system here in canada is very different and another thing that people need to know is that living in canada is very expensive like cost of living is very 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 expensive <laughs> and the more you are the more expensive it is for you like accommodation is expensive feeding is expensive there are so many bills to pay you're paying taxes like you have insurance to pay there's just so many things and this is the way it is nobody can change it if if you already know that you're not fine with the way the system is you shouldn't even come here in the first place but like i said this is the way it is so coming here with your spouse knowing that this is how the system works there's so many things to pay for you should already have a plan on how you want to fit into this system now for many couples in canada when they come together both the wife and the husband have to work together now i'm not talking about just going out there to hustle you and your husband or you and your wife have to like collaborate you have to partner you have to just do teamwork because there's no way there's no way the relocation will be easy or you will enjoy the benefits of relocation if you both do not work together now i'm not going to say this is exactly how couples do it maybe it's 50 50 maybe they are splitting the bills maybe um the person that ends more pays more or maybe i'm not going to say like because different people know how um they um plan their home to fit into the system but one thing that is sure is that couples have to like work together you both have to have a source of income like you have to both be bringing in income that is even the student too and the one that is on work permit both people have to bring your income and there's also so many dynamics to working in canada here that can affect the marriage and the regular way of doing things back at home like in nigeria so having this kind of situation requires both couples to work together to make sure that even their home is like okay do you understand because i believe that marriage on its own self is like a job not to mean like it's stressful but i feel like it's a job too it's something that people should commit to and put effort into so knowing that um the dynamics of working in canada is very very different you and your spouse need to plan how to manage your home and this involves like doing house chores when it comes to feeding when it comes to you know making sure the home is okay if you now have kids too when it comes to also making sure the kids are okay these are some of the things that both couples needing to have source of income can affect i don't know if you guys get me the fact that both couples have to go out and work can affect the home if the couples are not on the same page and do not like come to an agreement on how to make sure their home is you know stable so guys that first point basically just speaks to 
being on the same page about how you want to run your home regardless of how um whatever dynamics surrounds your um working status or whatever i don't know how to put it the second one is like something i already mentioned in the first point which is that both couples have to work but i'm going to expand more on it now why do both couples have to work when you first get into a new place you guys relocate from nigeria you spend a whole lot of money coming here so even if your your arrangement is in nigeria is that as a wife you don't used to work you are a sit at home mom you don't do anything <laughs> when you get here that might have to change a bit you get same thing with the husband maybe in nigeria you were a stay at home dad and your wife was the one going out to bring in you know money when you get here that might have to change a bit because like I said, cost of living in Canada is very expensive. So, why there has to be two sources of income is because we have two mouths to feed. And we also have two people in the picture. If it's just one person that comes here, one person, accommodation costs will be different. Or rather, will be lesser for one person. Bills will be lesser for one person. Um, you know, transportation, everything will be lesser because it's just one person involved. But when you come as two, that means you have times two of like what I have mentioned. Except in cases where one of the spouse has like a job that pays a lot of money that is enough to cater for the family, you know. Except in cases like that. But when you first relocate, there's a high chance that you guys will be low on funds, one, and it's a new place. So you both will like have to go and hustle for money until you are settled and you're okay so this is one thing that couples are relocating need to know if you already know that your spouse is somebody that who is not going to be interested in hustling or supporting or you know that dynamic of oh as a woman i don't want to come and be working and be contributing to the feeding of the house a man should shoulder all the responsibility or you already know that your husband is the kind of husband that will not allow you go out to go and work and even if he doesn't have money, he will prefer that you stay in the house and be hungry. Because what women are not supposed to work. Guys, you need to <laughs> already understand that coming here, ah, you would need to have different plans for yourself. On how you can make life easy for yourself. So guys, a summary of what I'm saying is that couples just need to understand that relocating to a country like Canada is going to require serious collaboration and partnership in so many things i cannot talk about everything because this video will not finish like so let me just put that out there i cannot touch all the angles because this video will not finish but that's what i just feel like people need to understand it's not just about advising people against um relocating to nigeria with their spouse because it's a bad thing because the laws here favor women blah 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 it's not just about that people need to understand that it has advantages and it also depends on the parties involved on the people involved and you also need to decide sit down with your husband sit down with your wife decide which one will work best for your family and you know the situation surrounding your family nobody will know your family better than you that's the truth nobody will know your spouse better than you so whichever one is going to be comfortable for you and your spouse is what i feel couples need to decide on if relocating alone is what will work for you guys faster because you wouldn't want your wife to come and have to be working you know and hustling maybe you want her to stay at home and be watching the kids or you are not just the kind of man that supports that then you should know that you come here alone and you take out maybe one two years to just settle down get a good job and then bring your family over you get and if you know that you are the kind of woman too that does not support working to support the um, husband because his husband's responsibility you know that you need to wait for your husband to be stable before you can come over because me what i what i see as wickedness is knowing what it is that you don't want and then still deciding to do what does not make sense anyway guys that's just really what i wanted to share today i hope you guys are able to like get one or two things from this video like i said i believe relocating with your spouse is a very good idea but then it still depends on the dynamics surrounding your family and you know um your 
choices your beliefs your principles about marriage and you know marital roles that is what needs to be considered before making the decision to relocate with your spouse to another country if you guys have any more contributions or you know questions on this issue please feel free to leave it in the comments you know so that other people can learn from it and let me know what you think about relocating to a new country with your spouse do you think it's a good idea or you think it's not a good idea that's all on today's video guys thank you so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe to my channel share this video give it a thumbs up and you know stay blessed bye